Hello and welcome to this video on writing numbers in words. Now in the previous video we looked at the place value of digits. We saw that the rightmost digit was the units digit, the next digit was the tens digit, and the next one was the hundreds digit. And we could use the place value to write this in words. So we start with leftmost digit, we had 300, so we write 300. Now after we say the number of hundreds, we have to use the word and, and then, rather than saying four tens and two, we actually say and 42. So the names for the different number of tens is if we had two, you'd say 20, 3, 30, 4, 40, 5, 50, 6, 60, 7, 70, 8, 80, and 9, 90. So this is for the tens digit. So it's four, so it'd be 40 and two. What about the next one we have? We've got 305. Well, again, we've got 300, and we put the word and after, after the word 100. And then we don't have any 10s, so we've just got 5, so it's just 305. Now, what about C? We've got 6720. Well, that's the thousands digit, isn't it? So we're going to have 6,000. Now, after the word of thousand, we don't have the word and. How many hundreds have we got? 700, 700. Now we use the word hundred, so there's a word and after, and. And then what have we got here at the end? Well, we've got two tens, so we say that as 20. And the unit digit is zero, we don't have any units, so we just write and 20. So it's 6,720. What about the next one? We've got 730, 403. This one is bigger. Well, this is a unit digit, tens digit, hundreds digit, thousands digit, ten thousands digit, and then the hundred thousands digit. And what I encourage you to do is to group these into three. Starting from the rightmost digit, have a group of three, then the group of three, and the commas kind of indicate where the groups are. And then basically, just in isolation, say what that number is first. So using the principle above, we would see that that's 730. So we write 730. But this block here is a kind of thousands block. But the value of this digit here was the thousands digit, and we got 730 of those thousands. So we can consider this whole second block here as the thousands block. So we've got 730,000, and then you just write the next block in words. So that's 403. Now we can use a similar principle for this next one. We've got a very large number here. 1, 1, comma, 0, 0, 6, comma, 0, 3, 0. Again, we divide it into the blocks, starting from the right, block of 3, and then the next block. So this, remember, was the thousands block. And then this block here is the millions block. So what we first do is we just write that number in isolation. So that is 11. So it's 11. And then you write the value of the block, so it's 11 million. And then let's write the value of the next block. That number in isolation is just 6, but it's the thousands block, so it's 6,000. And then this number in isolation is just 30, and we write and 30. So it's 11 million, 6,000 and 30. Right, what about when we have decimals? So if we had this, well, we just write that decimal point as point. So that would be three point. Now, any digit after the decimal point, we don't actually say their place value. We just say the list of digits after the decimal point. So it would just be 3.2. And that will become clearer in the next one. So for G, when we have this, then, well, we have two units, so it's two point. And then we don't write 0.75, that would be wrong. We just list the digits in isolation, so 2.75, 2.75. And what about the next one? Again, we just list the digits after decimal point. So that number there is 12, and then point. And then we have to say each of these digits, so 0, 0, 5. So 0, 0, 5. Now, finally, we might have to take numbers in words and convert them back into digits or in figures. So, this first one here, we want to write in figures 642. So, if we consider the place value of each digit, 
That is the hundreds digit, so we can put a six there because we've got 600. And then we've got 42. So the 40, that's a tens digit, four tens, and 42, that's a units digit, so it'd be like that. What about the next one? 5,080. So if we put our digits, well, that's a units digit, tens digit, hundreds digit, thousands digit. We've got 5,000, so we've got five lots of 1,000, and we've got 80. So 80, that's eight tens, it's a tens digit, so it's 80. Now, we never said anything about the hundreds digit, so it must be zero, and that will give us 5,080. What about 80,005? So we're going to need more digits this time. Now, do you remember that after this comma here, that is the thousands block, and we're saying there's 80,000. So we've got 80,000s, and then we've also got five. So the units digit is five, and everything else, we didn't state what it was, so it must be zero. So that gives us 80 thousands in the thousands block and five. And then finally, we've got this very big number, 2,340,000. So let's consider it in the different blocks. We kind of got this block here, we've got the thousands block here, and then we've got the millions block here. So we've got 2 million, so in the millions block, we just have two, and we've got 340,000. That's telling us how much we have in the thousands block, 340, so 340 thousands and then what do we have in the kind of units block well we have nothing so we're going to have to just put the zeros there because that means we have zero units zero tens and zero a hundred so there we go two million three hundred forty thousand and then no extra units